Today we're starting the first page of a new chapter, of a grand adventure we've dreamed of for years. We're heading to Shelter Bay Marina just about 10 miles away to get measured for the Panama Canal Transit. First, we have to make it out of the river's tricky mouth bordered by reef where many vessels run aground. The timing of our arrival at Shelter Bay couldn't be worse as they have an influx of sailors from the World Ark, so the marina isn't sure they'll have space for us. Fingers crossed, luck is on our side. Good morning, everyone. We are picking up anchor in Rio Chagres this morning and heading over to Shelter Bay Marina. We hope they have a spot for us, but they couldn't confirm they're going to do their best. It's uh, better for us to be in the marina because we have someone coming over to check the Yanmar throttle. And the reason we're heading there is to get measured for the Panama Canal transit. We are super excited because it just feels like, a, you know, one more step in the right direction. So let's go. Bye bye, Rio Chagres. Bye bye, Rio Chagres. The past few days in this magical river were just what we needed. The river's tranquil waters and hypnotizing sounds of the jungle critters were truly rejuvenating. You ready for Shelter Bay, Yoda? Are you sad to be leaving Rio Chagres? Not so much. The walking wasn't great. We're coming up to the mouth of the river, which if you guys remember from the last video or last time when we got here, <laughs> depends how the edit goes, it's a bit tricky. When we arrived, you could see waves breaking on the reef to starboard and to our port. We've heard many sailors have run aground here. So we do have our tracks from last time, but we don't always trust them 100%. So we're still gonna go by our waypoints and of course our memory. We're pretty close to that. Sorry. Yeah. We're there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it's tricky because you can't see in the water at all, so. Can you head left at all or no? Yeah. yeah, I don't like to go into breaking waves at the mouth of a river. Mm -mm. No, I don't trust the track. Right, so it's not that deep. Yeah. Well, okay. Yeah, maybe we go further over to the right, huh? To the right or the left? Starboard, our old track, babe. Because the Bauhaus guide said to be careful not to go too far south, which is that way. Yeah. And I remember that we went like yeah. more towards our track. Yeah because uh, I was surprised that, yeah, like that, that Steve was going so far out yeah. from the waypoint. 16 knots of wind. On the nose. Yeah. And, uh, but here it's better than out there. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to stay close to shore because yeah. the waves are supposed to be like 10 feet today. Yeah. So even though it's a super short distance, yeah. we're not really interested in 10 foot waves. We made it out into the ocean and we've got like 17, 18 knots of wind, 22, 23 apparent directly on the nose. And since we're just going a very short distance, we're not going to pull up the sails, um, but we're on our way. 
If you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below, and be sure to subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. We're trying to stay in kind of close to shore so that the waves don't get too big and the ride isn't too bouncy, but then we have to balance that with reef because <laughs> we just saw some pretty big waves unexpectedly, so we're going out a little bit more. When vessels are within about five miles of the Panama Canal breakwater, they need to call Cristobal Station to get clearance to enter the area. Cristobal Signal Station, Cristobal Signal Station, this is sailing vessel Bartolos, over. Uh, we are uh, just inside of one mile of the entrance of the breakwater. Copy that, Wanderlust back to 1-6. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning and decided it would be a good idea to make yogurt. Maybe not the best idea because it takes a long time to boil, like probably an hour in our batteries. It used like 13% of our batteries. Uh, so now I have to check what the temperature of the milk is because um, once it gets to 116, you're supposed to then ferment it. We wrapped the top in cellophane because we were afraid the milk would spill over due to the waves. All right, the temperature is 124, so I'm gonna cover it back up and check it again in a little bit. Shelter Bay Marina is at the entrance to the Panama Canal, so there are a ton of cargo ships anchored out here. It's truly eye-opening to see all the cargo ships here. To think that a huge amount of the world's commerce transits these waters each and every day is mind-boggling. What an honor to be here and to be able to share these moments with you. We are immensely grateful for this experience. This is the entrance to the breakwater right there. Okay, now we're making our way to the marina. And the instructions say our entry channel runs approximately 200 meters south and parallel to the breakwater. We go this way. Right? Yeah, we go this way. There's a reef east northeast of the Shelter Point headland. Right.
checking the yogurt again. The temperature is 119, so I think I'm just gonna uncover it and, um, and let it come down to 116 because if we don't do it now, then because if I don't put it in the Instant Pot now instead of the fermentation, it will probably um, get too cool. Meanwhile, Fabio continued to motor back and forth outside the channel to the marina near the anchorage. There's a wrecked ship right on its side there. I actually decided to wait another couple minutes. Now the milk is at 116.8, so we're perfect. We're ready. I almost forgot, I actually have to put the yogurt starter in with some of that milk, bring it to temperature, and then put it in the yogurt. And we're done. <laughs> Shelter Bay Marina, Shelter Bay Marina. This is sailing vessel one for us over. Copy that. Uh, we were just wondering if we should anchor out here until um, you get the everything figured out. What's the, the, the name of the car again, please? 26 feet over. 26? Yes, 26 feet. At this point, we had been waiting about 45 minutes to enter the marina, but it seemed they would have space for us. Yes, this is Wanderlust, over. Uh, copy that, but we, unfortunately, we don't have uh, WhatsApp right now. We don't have Let's signal. Copy that. So uh, come into the marina, pass the first two boats, back in starboard side tide. Stern? Stern in, correct? It said stern in, so back in. Yeah. Copy that. Okay, uh, we are going to set up our lines and bumpers for a starboard tie and then we'll be in. I took the helm and started heading in while Fabio got the fenders and lines set up. We didn't want any other vessels to come in before us and snag our spot. A huge thank you to our patrons. We are so grateful for your support. If you'd like additional content and real-time updates, consider joining the Harbors Unknown community on Patreon. We did a video getting into the marina because it was totally crunch time. Just as we were coming in, and I saw another boat coming down the channel, and I was like, no way, we are not gonna get behind them so we just rushed in and this was like a super tough spot to get into we've got a boat here the mangroves and the dock and it was super skinny but fabio managed it like a boss right yes <laughs> take credit where credit's <laughs> oh yeah i know
almost crashed. I know. There's we came in from there along the main groves and Fabio swung around and backed in. The World Ark just happens to be coming into the marina today and we snuck in ahead of these guys. <laughs> Probably one of the busiest days for the marina, but they squeezed us in. Thank you so much, Shelter Bay. Yoda, are you excited to go? You ready? You ready? <laughs> Fortunately, even with all the World Arc boats in, the canal authorities came to measure Wanderlust for the Panama Canal Transit. She measured the full length and width of the vessel and the length from helm to bow. After going through a list of questions about Wanderlust, she hopped back on the canal boat and they headed out. <laughs> the wind was absolutely pumping, so we decided to tackle some projects and wait for a better window to head to Linton Bay. After about six days, the wind calmed down enough for us to head out, so we untied the lines and were on our way. Linton Bay is about 30 nautical miles east, so of course we were beating right into the trade winds and waves. We were planning to leave the boat and Yoda in Linton Bay while we flew to Fort Lauderdale for a couple of weeks to see friends and family, doctors, and pick up boat parts and supplies. Thanks so much for joining us this week. We'll see you next time.